Hello everyone. I'm Sok Superior, a set Kasaba program connector for Cambodia. Today I would like to present the result of the experiment Yield Impact of Kasaba Mosaic Disease and Kasaba which is broom disease in Cambodia. Why did we do this experiment? We did the experiment to provide short-term recommendation to farmers regarding what variety to plant, economic justification for developing a clean seed system, other management practice that farmers can adopt to mitigate losses, to evaluate and compare the penalty of cassava crop with effective planting material with and without symptoms, to evaluate the consequence of planting symptomatic stem from a symptomatic plant. This is the third year of experiment. And for the first two years, we found that KU50 and Huibong60 was less susceptible to CMD. During the year one and year two of the project, demonstrated that year decline from clean, plant without visual disease symptom planting material between 30 to 50 percent, depending on the varieties and time of infection. So this experiment, we, we use six variety with three types of stem. This is the result of symptomatic plan. By this result, all plan from symptomatic plan material develop symptom by the end of the season for all genotype tested. Among varieties, SCA and Rayong 11 had the most infection, 100%, and KU50 had least for clean and positive lesson planting material, and the number of affected plants increased with time. This is the fresh root yield and stack content. On the average year, 1.2 to 2.74 higher in plot from clean and positive selection planting material than those from symptomatic plant material. The smaller year difference, 1.2 fold occur in Huibong 60. For KU50, different was 1.8 fold during the season 2019 and 2020. Both Huibong 60 and KU50 demonstrated small less different when compared between yield of stake originated from clean and symptomatic stake. Another experiment. We selected three varieties with three types of steak. We do this experiment to evaluate the consequence of planting symptomatic stem from a symptomatic plant. Experiment was established with three varieties. The level of symptomatic affection of CMD has been recorded at four time point, say at 26 day for uh, 64 day, 156 and 278 day after planting. This is the result of symptomatic plant in percentage. Number of day of symptom developed of asymptomatic stem from symptomatic plant were similar to the pattern of clean planting material. By the end of the experiment, there was no significant difference in the number of symptomatic plant between asymptomatic stem from symptomatic plant and clean planting material.
This is the result of fresh root yield and stack content. In all three varieties, symptomatic stem from symptomatic plant produce lowest yield, and there are no significantly, significantly different in the yield between plot from clean stack and asymptomatic stem from symptomatic plant. And also the stack content, there was no notable effect on disease on stack content. So by this result, we suggest that in the absence of clean seed, the farmer cannot source enough planting material. Through positive selection, farmer can use potentially asymptomatic stem from symptomatic plan for next season. This is the photo of the cassava which is bloom in Cambodia with uh, increasing in Kampong Cham and mostly the symptom was occurred at the end of the rainy season. We did the measure of the impacting years like content and income. So we do the measurement of the year and site content of the healthy field and disease field. So for the healthy field, there was around 50 ton per hectare in average with the site content 30%. And from the disease field, the average year was around 29 ton with the site content around 25%. For this, we, we can uh, see the loss because of the which is broom can uh, decrease the uh, root yield to uh, 40%. This is another experiment that we combine to get the uh, between CMD and cassava, which is broom. We do the experiment to evaluate and compare yield and start loss of cassava, which is broom and cassava mosaic disease. And we can find that these two disease sometimes happen on the same plant and also on different plants in the same field. So we selected two variety with three type of stake. So we use KU50 and Rayong 5 with the positive selection, CMD affected stake and Casva which is broom affected state. The experiment was adapted in June 2021 and it will be harvested in late March 2022. This is the overview of Casva Mosaic and Casva, which is broom experiment. So we took the picture of in late September 2021 and early February 2022. So the picture is completely different because of the fashion of the disease. So by now, we have the data from the three time scoring so we did uh, for three time uh, scoring at uh, different uh, duration so as you, we can see with the uh, cmd and casava which is broom if we look at the ku50 from positive selection the cmds increased uh, from 6.3 to 10.4 after 20 day and 150 day. But if you look at the uh, KU50 with the CMD effective stem, so the number is increased uh, nearly uh, 100%. And also we look at the KU50 uh, with the Casva which is broom effective stem, so it increased from 29.2 uh, to 
or forty seven point nine. So the is the the percentage of the for uh, symptomatic plan increase uh, by uh, time with rayon five also. Uh, from this result, we, we don't see any trend with fertilizer and without fertilizer plot, but we will uh, do this experiment uh, uh, for another year. So this is the photo of uh, uh, this is take from uh, KU50 and uh, Rayong 5 of uh, the experiment. This is uh, the photo from uh, of our experiment. So at the back is uh, KU50 and in front is Rayong 5 and another uh, side uh, KU50 uh, plot. If you look at this uh, photo, is uh, uh, by now it's almost 100% of the plant get infection by Casava uh, vitis broom and Casava mosaic disease. So for the next activity plan for 2020-22, we will repeat the experiment again by insert the Rayong 11, uh, which less susceptible to cassava, which is broom in the experiment. Thank you very much for your listening. If you have any question, uh, please ask. Thank you.